Good morning everybody, this is Shitanshu and Sophie from Vienna. We have just checked out from our hotel, we have had our breakfast, we have checked out pretty early at around 8.30 am and now we are heading towards the bus station. We have to take the bus to Budapest and we are really excited about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful country, Hungary and we are really hungry to go there. Okay, that's a PJ. So we've just reached Budapest and we've just boarded off from the bus and took a taxi. One tip for all those husbands, for all those boyfriends traveling with a beautiful lady. Keep some extra space in your luggage bags because if you're traveling with a lady, if, even if you don't have any shopping plans, they'll make a shopping plan for sure. So keep some extra space so that you don't have to carry extra bags because you'll be the ones who will be carrying the bags, not her. We booked the taxi from the bus station to our hotel. And he asked for 25 euros and we bargained to 15 euros. So there's a lot of scope of bargaining here. There's no Uber minded in Budapest. So you have to book these kind of taxis. I think 15 euros was the right amount because uh, in Vienna, we booked the Uber for around two kilometers. It was right, like eight euros and here it was like eight kilometers. So 15 euros should be fine. So Budapest is already treating us well. The check-in was supposed to start at uh, 3 p.m. We were here early at 1 p.m. and the hotel staff allowed us to uh, you know, check in early. Also, they've given us a free upgrade from the standard room to an executive room. So I really want to thank the kind hotel staff for this. Now we will go for a lunch and after that we will go for the hop on hop off in Budapest. So it will be a lot of, lot of, lot of fun. All right, so the local currency in Hungary is uh, foreign and uh, it's quite a good currency, I'm telling you, because for one euro, you get 300 for plus foreign. Uh, so we have got a lot of foreign here. Uh, this is uh, just converted like 80 euros and uh, I got like more than 25,000 foreign. And uh, this is a thing, you know, you get to see this 10,000 points note over here, which is quite crazy, similar to Indonesia. So this is something quite interesting, a 10,000 note. I'm gonna keep it forever with me and add it to my currency collection. Time for the local Hungarian beer. Cheers. So right behind me is one of the main squares of Budapest. This is called Hero Square. It has got statues of uh, you know people on horses and I googled it. It's got something to do in the 18th century. So probably all heroes, all warriors. I'll do some Google and add some of the details about it in this video. You know me now, where 
wherever I go, I definitely take the metro ride. So here I am in Budapest and it's the cutest, smallest metro station that I've ever seen. And the metro train is also very cute and very small. I'll show you now. countries over here is the language okay, English is a famous language but everybody doesn't know English some of them can speak and most of them can understand English in Budapest Hungarian is the local language and in Vienna German was the language so having some basic knowledge of these languages is pretty advisable words like thank you excuse me uh, can you help me these words can really help you. As the day is passing by, we are getting saddened because tomorrow we have to leave. Trust me, if you're coming to Budapest, you should have at least three, four days in hand with you so that you can spend some quality time and you can explore the city just by on your foot. It is a wonderful place and I'm already in love with the city. For sure, I'm gonna come again probably next year or next to next year if you come to Europe and you have a taste for coffee as well as some liquor in that case you should definitely try the Irish coffee this is a special coffee with some little liquor in it I think it's like whiskey or something else but it's really really tasty and I love to try it every time I come to Europe I found Irish coffee in Toronto and in Delhi as well but nowhere did I find that there was any liquor in it so this is the original Irish coffee you should definitely try if you do like to have some liquor added to your coffee this would definitely be a different and a great experience okay time for some tips if you're planning a trip to Europe you should know the best time first of all the best time to come to Europe is summers because the days are too long Sun rises at around you know 5 a.m. 5 30 a.m. or maybe even earlier and the sun sets at around 10 p.m. so you see good sunlight until around 10 30 or even you know 11 or until midnight in some places in Europe so summers is the best time because you get a lot of time to roam around but even if you're here in winters you should be quite ready for it because the European winters are not like Indian winters. European winters are quite harsh. It depends where you're going. If you're going to Switzerland or some other places like that, you know, if they are very, very cold. So beware and come prepared. Tip number two to avoid all the hassles, you should have everything ready with you and you should book the tickets online like if you're planning a travel from one city to the other and if you're going through a train or a bus you should plan it beforehand because the prices rise and there's a discount over online prices as well like there was a discount for 10% on big bus tours if you go and take it online you would get it for around 98 euros uh, for Vienna and Budapest but if you go and collect it from the you know from the stalls over road in that case you will get it for around 105 to 110 euros tip number three the mobile data we cannot live without Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of these things. But apart from social networking, mobile data is so important because of uh, the GPS. You know, you need to have Google Maps if you're traveling on a road. You need to have Google Maps if you're traveling through the local transport. Google Maps is so important. I um, mean, Google or Apple Maps, but it is so important to have navigation with you. So. If you're traveling through India, I know because I just got a plan for from Vodafone, so it cost me around three thousand rupees 
and it was for seven days. And I think it is valid for 20 odd European countries. So you should check the plan before taking it. But it was for 3,000 rupees for seven days. I took it and it was quite easy for me to, you know, um, set the GPS and roam around here and there. So we are just heading towards the river cruise and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because, of, because the river side is very 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 beautiful. Alright, so this marks an end to the river cruise. Budapest in night is really, really beautiful. And if you visit Budapest, then this river cruise is definitely recommended. Do not miss the river cruise ride because in night, Budapest looks really, really beautiful. Whoa, we are back in the sweet, cute little metro train. And look at this. Here and it ends here like this. Such a small metro train, it literally looks like a toy train to me. And just wait, just wait for this. Look for the doors open. And just wait for the time the door closes. <laughs> All right, so this was the sweet little cute little metro of Budapest. Just landed here in the Delhi airport. Um, this is the end to our trip. She's pretty sad because the trip is over now, and uh, I am pretty fine because my wallet and my bank account is also over by now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for all of you guys who have been supporting us, uh, writing so many positive comments. I will be posting those immigration uh, videos again from tomorrow onwards. So stay tuned and stay healthy.